does he play into the, the pink and the reds, hold for the red into the right centre, or does he go through the gap? Playing the delicate cannon on the reds. Just lost it slightly, but he's still OK. He's always going to have that loose red, either into the right centre or the left. Once again, his potting is just incredible. Fifty-two. Quick glance at the scores once more. Fifty points in the lead. 59 remaining. This red will be 51 ahead. 51 remaining. No problem. No problem at all. And nicely on the black as well. I'm a match ball this, Phil, when it's been a, a really accomplished performance from Judd Trump. Taken up where he left off in that second half of the match yesterday after being 4 0 down. He 16. played quite superbly to come back and beat Wu Yuzi, but. Yeah. 61. Looks in very, very good form. And there is enough on for the century he craves. Superb, as it was from Elliot Slesser. It was just won the eighth frame against Sean Murphy with 134 total clearance. Slesser's deficit 5-3. He just loves making centuries, Phil, doesn't he? He's after that. He's after that hundred centuries of the season. Bonus for sure. Maybe a few other contenders as well. But at the moment, he's going to be the front runner. I'm looking very good. Yes, and of course, Trump was the opponent when Neil Robertson was the first player to make a hundred centuries in a season. Robertson made that landmark turn against Trump at the Crucible and as I said before the rematch is very much on here tomorrow 98. topping and tailing with centuries in this snooker episode of Friends, Judd comprehensively beat Jack. Oh, wow, what a pot. There was value in it because he would have had a shot at the black. But even so, what a pot that is to get in. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant pot from Ronnie. And now he's just got to float this black in. There's a red waiting over the middle pocket. Talk about bullying your way into a frame. What a pot that was. Look Eight. at the state of this. That really is so good. Beautiful shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Nice. He's worked his way into a chance. A match-winning chance now. 
This match has had everything. Wasn't far away from the opening red. Zhang Ander got very close to knocking it in. 14. Probably went back to his seat thinking, oh, what a result there. I've not left anything. He did leave 15. something. And this is now the result. He sat in his chair watching on, watching the best ever at the table in a deciding frame. No doubt fearing the worst. 22. You'd have to be, wouldn't you? against Ronnie O'Sullivan, but particularly the way he's looked tonight, as I say, he's been so keen, 23. so keen to win and keep his run going here in Riyadh. We saw that in the last frame, the way he just dashed it off in a few minutes. Thirty. Possibly come up slightly low on this red at the back of the pack and if he is it's not ideal because he doesn't really want to be topping that cue ball through the reds it's very difficult to control so plan B 31 and if again, if, again if he plays for that same red he's got to make sure he gets straight or high yeah that's okay Big area. 38. So it's going to come down to disturbing the Reds 47. here. Again, it's not the best pack to attack, but he's got a little corridor down the right side. He can just play like a delayed screw into them. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. A little bit of a hamper queuing, but if he knocks this in, he's away. 54. Yeah, this is on now. It's starting to look like a grandstand finish, but still a little bit of work to do. Sixty two. Well, it's been a great match, and Zhang Ander has played superbly. He led 3 0. You have to say, though, that missed red in frame four when he had a chance for 4 0 at the interval. That was significant because he could have really taken a grip on the match early on. It feels massive, doesn't it, that red? Because it was a definite moment in the match where Ronnie's ears just pricked up and he fancied the job all of a sudden. Doing what he does best. He's he smelt blood here. 70. He's just inevitable. This red is match ball. What a finish. <laughs> There's the roar from the crowd. The man they've come to see. They'll be seeing again in the quarterfinals. His 146th ranking event quarterfinal. He had to work to get there. But my word, he's come to life in these last two frames. 78. Long red from the Zhang breakoff in the 10th frame. Mm. And then that red to the green pocket in this one to start this break. 78. Break ends at 78. Yeah. Zhang yeah. Ander has seen enough. It's been a wonderful match and it's been won by the great Ronnie O'Sullivan. There is the Riyadh Roar for the seven times world champion.